What I want to talk to you about today is a Mercure. It's a vending machine, German, from about 1880, uh, made by the uh, Deutsche Automatengesellschaft, Stolberg and Company. It's a, a very nice machine with uh, still the original patina. Uh, look at the details, there's a frog here. The colors are simply stunning. There's still uh, the animal signs, uh, as you can see. Look at this figure over here. Here you can see uh, the word tire, which, which means pool. So it was clearly a machine that was operational in the uh, in France. The uh, last tax sign, which tax signs were uh, obligatory in in, uh, in France, it's from uh, 1910. There you go. So this means that the machine was probably operational up to. Uh, the start of the First uh, World War, which is uh, 1914. It was found in a former uh, railway station. Uh, afterwards, they uh, transformed it into a, a garage. And uh, the machine was there up to uh, about uh, a year ago. That's, uh, that's quite rare. Also on the sides, you uh, can still, still see the, the details. I will open it up for you and then you can see that it's a very uh, nice mechanism. So you have to pull this and then you can pull it out. And then you could fill up the, uh, the different uh, uh, lines. There were about 440 packages that could go in. And there were a total 12 shafts to uh, to fill, and on the other one, other side, you have uh, you have another one. So here there was a thermometer, which is uh, missing. But other than that, it's really in fantastic condition. Here you have the uh, the stand. So the total height was about two meter thirty, and. Uh, uh, these here were for uh, for kids, and that was more for uh, for the adults because the height of the mirror was about uh, 150, and uh, the flavors over here were more more the common flavors, and that was more uh, special. Um, okay, then we have the stand over here, and I put it aside because here you can see there's a, a hole. So there are also some attachment holes, but here was a hole um, that was foreseen if you wanted to put uh, music inside. So that was an option on this machine. Actually, the total price, uh, purchase price of the machine was about 250 euros um, in that time, which was quite a lot of money, about $300. But still, in the 1880s, uh, $300 was uh, a lot of money, but it was a money-making machine. Um, Look at this. And if we open it up, it's difficult to see, but here there was uh, a, sh a shelf uh, foreseen for putting the, the music box. And then here on the side, there was a door, uh, a door foreseen that closed it. So there's an this one never had the uh, the music box. On the back side, I'll open this up. There was some kind of an opening, so you could uh, uh, hear the music better. And uh, it's quite a, a nice uh, thing to know that there were different uh, options on this machine. Also here, you have some holes that were uh, inside, that was to, uh, of, co of course, to, uh, to fix it to the ground, to make sure it didn't get, uh, it didn't get stolen. Okay, this machine is, uh, is sold uh, to a very good customer of mine. It goes back to, uh, to Germany, 
and uh, I'm sure he's uh, quite happy about it. If ever you have a uh, similar machine for sale, do not hesitate to contact me. Coin of Europe. Thank you.